I work here. I live in Winnipeg, and uh, you know, it's a very, very like every Winnipegger and every Manitoban. I'm very proud. Uh, even every city I go to, even in Canada, people are very, very proud about the NHL returning to uh, our country, another team. So it's a very exciting and proud time. It was great last week when the uh, Jets beat the Capitals. Uh, there was a lot of coverage about the Capitals visiting uh, Winnipeg uh, last week in, in the media here in Washington, and uh, it was pretty good for the home team last week with the three-game uh, wins uh, wins that they had, and uh, it was a lot of uh, fun watching it. What was it like being part of the opener to being at the home opener? Oh, it was a lot. of It was uh, history. Of course, everybody was very excited about it, and uh, uh, the emotion when they were dropping that puck uh, uh, to start the game, I, it was something I'll never forget. So it was a lot of fun and a lot of history. Was seeing that video special for you too? Like the, you know, the I haven't had a chance to catch up on everything yet. So I, no, I haven't seen it yet. You weren't there uh, on May 31st uh, for the big announcement. A lot of people thought you should have been. No, I thought I was watching it uh, with pride. It was uh, a lot of fun. And uh, it, uh, I think the whole community uh, proved that they were part of the team coming back because I think, it, you know, when people, it was like a scene out of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. You know, you tell me to stay and I'm going to leave. The, the, everybody was told for so many years they couldn't support a team. And boy, did those tickets go fast. It was uh, including tickets that I bought. Over the time of, you know, the, the arrangement to get the arena built to the, the NHL's return, uh, what was what would you say was your biggest moment of doubt? Because uh, you were intricately involved in so many of the, the machinations of it going on. I always thought once we had the business plan uh, with Mark Chipman's leadership, it would, it would get done. Uh, I thought that uh, uh, his integrity, uh, the model of having two-thirds private money, one-third public money was a good model. Uh, we were already... Uh, a lot of people were talking only about hockey, but, you know, we had a boarded up Eaton's building at the time. Uh, we also were losing concerts. Concerts were tipping their wings on the way over Winnipeg, going either to Grand Forks or to uh, uh, Toronto. Uh, that's not a good message for your kids and for your future. And so the, the downtown arena, and it moved from the original site of uh, going to be across from the convention center to the Eaton's building, uh, having... Uh, a replacement for a boarded up building in downtown Winnipeg, uh, as sentimental as that building was, and goodness knows people expressed their sentiment about it, but uh, I got in trouble when I called it the asbestos, um, asbestos Museum, so I, now as a diplomat I can't use that kind of language anymore, <laughs> but uh, the, uh, uh, because we kicked their tires for, for purposes of the hydro building downtown, which we were looking at, but it's been great for the city ever since it, it opened. It's been great for hockey with the moose. It's been great for concerts. Uh, everybody's been to that uh, center, even those people that had yellow ribbons around their uh, their arms uh, have been to a concert. And um, the uh, NHL is the icing on the cake, but it's great icing. How many games do you have you watched the Jets play, and do you get time to watch them here? I don't always get time to watch them. I uh, I, I would say I've watched a third of them, uh, but I have. I'm like everybody else in Winnipeg. I have a share of a season ticket in Winnipeg. Uh, my daughters are going to quite enjoy them until I get back. <laughs> but when I get back, they're not going to enjoy them so much. <laughs> and on the Bombers, what uh, what do you make of them? <clears throat> well, I'm really, again, uh, very pleased that they're in the Grey Cup. Uh, it's, uh, it's a tough game. Uh, of course, uh, I think with Winnipeg's defense and BC's offense, I, I think they're going to, it's going to be an interesting matchup. Uh, for this game, and this game uh, being the Grey Cup, I hope the old adage that good defense beats offense every day of the week in football, I hope that carries through at the Grey Cup on the weekend. But I'll be watching the game. But as a diplomat, you could drop your diplomacy and pick a winner. Who do you think is going to win? Well, I had the pleasure <laughs> of presenting the Grey Cup to BC last time. So uh, they were playing the Alouettes in Winnipeg. Uh, and, uh, of course, it's only fitting uh, that the Bombers win this time uh, because, as I say, they have such a great defense. Uh, they're going to rattle the BC Lions. But, of course, I have to represent every team yes. in the CFL here. <coughs> but uh, never lose your – I'll be uh, wearing blue. But just between I'll be wearing and blue. The, uh, and the tie. <laughs> and the tie. I'll be wearing that tie. <laughs> Shamelessly wearing the tie. I don't know whether they'll let me in a bar in, uh, in Washington. But, no, but we'll be watching the game.